Hello, this is Raymond Mayfield. Great to be with you today. How would you like to be on a big boat floating on waters and animals of all kinds and and uh, your family and everyone's all gathered together there and they're going to be up there for a long time until the rain season they can get. Now, I'm in Genesis chapter 7 today. And it's really sad that evil becomes so rampant on the earth that God decided he had to destroy every living thing. The only ones that were spared were Noah and his family and the pairs of birds and animals. And the Bible does tell us that Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Genesis 7 and 1 said, Then the Lord said to Noah, Come into the ark. You and all your household, because I've seen that you're righteous before me in this generation. And then it goes on to say that God said you shall take with you uh, seven each of every clean animal. That word seven is an interesting number. God uses that word seven all throughout the Bible. That is God's number. And uh, one female and two each animals that are unclean, a male and a female, also seven of each birds of the air, male and female, and keep the species alive on the face of the earth. So the Bible tells us that Noah obeyed the Lord, and he was 600 years old. I tell you what, I don't know what it would be like to be 600 years old. All of his family and the animals of bird went in the ark, and the clean animals that went in the ark may have been and could have been used for food. And Genesis 7 and 11, in the hundredth year of Noah's life, in the second month and the seventh day of the month, on that day, all the fountains of the deep broke up, and the windows of heaven were open. And verse 12 said, and the rain was on the earth for 40 days and 40 nights. That's another interesting word. Throughout the Bible, 40 days and 40 nights, it rained. It became a big flood. And Genesis 7, 17, now the flood was on the earth for 40 days and the waters increased and it lifted up the ark and that ark just floated and rose high above all the earth. In verse 18, it says the waters prevailed and greatly increased on the earth and the ark about the surface of the waters and the waters prevailed exceedingly on the earth and all the high hills were covered. Folks, I want to tell you, God does mean business. All flesh died that moved on the face of the earth. What a wake-up call for all of us. So God destroyed all the living things on the face of the earth and on the ground, both men and cattle. Only no one and his family were saved and because they were in the ark. And folks, I want to tell you today, you and I need to be in the ark today, and that is we need to be saved, and we need to know God if we're going to make it to heaven. It's about time God is going to call his people home, and we need to be ready. And Genesis 7, 24, and the waters prevail on the earth 150 days. Everything died. I've always heard people say God is a God of love and he wouldn't destroy anyone. If you read the Old Testament repeatedly, the judgment of God was up on people and many people were destroyed because they disobeyed God. And there is coming a day where God is going to be uh, judging the people of this world. There is a great white throne judgment that's coming up on the people that are lost and undone without God. So we need to make preparations today that we're in that ark and we, we can be like Noah. Only Noah and his family found grace in the eyes of the Lord because the world was so evil. And it says in the... Genesis 7, 24, and the water prevailed on the earth 150 days. I want to remind you what it says in Matthew 24 and 37, and I said that in my last session, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be when the Lord comes back to this earth again. They were eating, drinking, and giving in marriage, and having parties of all kinds, uh, till the Lord come up and take, took them all away one day, and they were all destroyed. 
And one thing about a rainbow, God put a rainbow in the sky that he would never destroy this earth again with water. But that doesn't mean he won't destroy it by fire. And I want to tell you what, we need to be ready. Thank you for listening to this session today. This is Raymond Mayfield, and thank you so much for listening.